Hi guys! I hope you enjoyed our little flight session for which we used our brand new mini quadcopter kit and we also made our very own landing platform. Let's start by unboxing the quadcopter first. Now, as I said, it's a kit, so you need to assemble everything, including the controller. Um, everything is packed in these little plasticky bags, so let me just unpack that for you first. <laughs> okay, so we've got everything here. Let's start with the quadcopter. Here is a quadcopter case, the quadcopter PCB, which includes a gyroscope that's needed for the stability of your quadcopter. We also have four quality DC motors, uh, the lithium ion battery. Uh, it takes about 30 minutes to charge and then you can fly up to seven minutes. We also have the propellers over here. Extra ones are included in case, you know, you lose or break one. And we also have propeller protectors, which is very convenient if you don't want to lose your fingers or your cat. I'm just kidding. Okay, moving on to the transmitter. Transmitter PCB over here. We've got some more electronics. The transceiver, which communicates with the quadcopter. Two joysticks, of course, and some more plastic parts to complete your transmitter. Okay, so as you saw during our flight session, we made our own landing platform and you can make it too. What do you need? You need the RGB LED matrix over here, which is very bright and colorful, we know. Um, we also 3D printed our own platform and inside there's a nibble, which is actually an Arduino based platform. The code for the Arduino, which drives the RGB LED platform is in the description below. And the STL file you can find on Thingiverse. The link is also in the description below. Then you need to just power it up and you're ready to fly. Thank you for watching. Be sure to share all your projects on our Facebook, our Twitter, anywhere you like. And I'll see you next time. Bye.